a single arm straight arm pull down, your actual setup is going to depend on what you have access to for bands. So one option is with a band that has handles to loop it through, and then you'll hold on to the body of the band and adjust your grip depending on how much resistance that you want. Another option is to unloop this band, use the handles to actually pull here. And this is gonna be harder because now you've got more resistance. So this could be a more advanced option for you. Another option is to use a super band like this one, where you are holding onto this part of the band to use as your handle. Now you can have an overhand grip here, pulling down, or you can have a neutral grip here, pulling down. Uh, so overhand grip or neutral grip, either way will work for this exercise, just depends on what you've got, right? Okay, so for this exercise, the actual setup, once you've got your band the way you want it to be, is to step back away from the attachment point. However, I am using a pull-up bar for this, um, and so it's really important that most of the force is going to be vertical rather than pulling straight out because that's going to pull this bar away from the door. Works perfectly for this exercise though because this is a pull down. So we do want to be mainly pulling it down for this. We're just going to step away a little bit from that attachment point. Separate your feet parallel to width apart and soften your knees. Squeeze your glutes and hinge forward at your hips while you keep your core engaged and back flat. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. What we want to have is our arm out in front of us with just a soft bend in our elbow. And so from here, you know, if you've got a band that allows you to be holding way up high like this and then pull all the way down, great. That band is not this one. So I'm going to have to kind of adjust my range of motion to make this band work for me. Just extend your arm out in front of you. I've got an overhand grip here, shoulder blades drawn together, and now you'll inhale and then exhale. And as you do, keep your body nice and still as you pull the band down toward your hips. Inhale as you release it forward. Exhale, pull. You should feel this coming into your lats on the side that you are pulling on. If you are going to use a bed more like this, this allows me to get my arm up a little bit higher to start. And then it's, oh, it's a lot of resistance to pull down. So this might even be a little bit too heavy for me at this point. I would probably loop this one through. Take that neutral grip and see, there we go. Yep, see how this feels. Make sure that attachment point is nice and stable so that you're not potentially injuring yourself. All right, one more view from the side just so you can get it. Knee soft, glutes squeezed, hinged forward, core engaged, back flat, shoulder blades squeezed, arm out in front of you. You can get away up here because of the band that you've got. Great, you're gonna pull it all the way down to your hips. If not, because of what you've got access to, you can always have it be just wherever your hand needs to start somewhere in this range of motion and pull it down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze nice and tight here and then slowly release it forward. And that's the exercise.